Hey guys, here's just a very quick video demonstrating some uh, lock mode issues with the Ronin S. I'll show you here. What we've got here is the Ronin S with the A7 III on it and the Tamron 28-275. And I've got a little small rig mount and handle there as well. So the control is over the other side anyway. I've made myself user mode 3 being total lock mode for the gimbal, which now results in the camera facing forward all the time as it should. I can even put it in underslung mode and it'll do hopefully exactly the same thing. So this is kind of a really handy mode, the lock mode, if you want to do kind of crane shots or tracking shots. So like for example, you'd want to do this, left to right, a small move like so. But sometimes it's actually a lot handier if you can stabilize the gimbal on your body like so and do it like so, so because that would result in a much smoother motion. However, what happens is the gimbal has kind of protection so that none of these arms or motors hit each other. So then all of a sudden lock mode after a certain degree of tilt doesn't actually lock the, the look forward anymore and it'll just drift off. See, that's what happens. So it, it actually doesn't lock anymore when you do this, which is really annoying because the best result you would get if you were having it like that and just go bang, 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 because this is stable and uh, totally controllable and doesn't strain your arm. Uh, as I was doing this, I realized that if, because I've got the handle here, uh, I can actually take a lot of weight off the gimbal if I just turn it 90 degrees sideways and then use it like that. Because I've got all the weight there where it should be at the high center of gravity. And then I can use it like so. And here you go. All of a sudden this thing does work uh, how I think it should. And it locks and I can use that. However, the problem then is, if I'd go from upright to underslung, then all of a sudden there comes a point where this thing starts going absolutely berserk and mental on me, which it doesn't do when it's just normally straightforward. And it shouldn't, because no matter which way the handle is pointed, it should still go underslung and upright, no problems, but it doesn't. There's something wrong with the coating. So I turn it 180 degrees. 180 degrees is fine, no problem. And go 270 sideways again. And bang, bang, here it goes again. It's just, so it's absolutely, there's something wrong. Hence you can't unfortunately use it like that, which is a big bummer because I would love to just be able to lock this off and even have a long stick on there and just go like that. And this is really easy to hold and you've got good control over it. And that'd be beautiful, but can't be done. And that is absolutely useless because it doesn't lock. All right, well, I hope this explains it a little bit better. We all want to improve this gimbal is a great gimbal and it can do amazing things, but uh, there's still a bit of issues which have to be resolved. Thanks for watching.